Hello, everyone, and we're back with a fresh new show for the Unveiled season. Today, I hope you're ready because we're going to be unveiling Shaolin Showdown. Showdown was an American-based cartoon created by Christy Huey and WB Studios. Airing in 2003, the story takes place set in a world where martial arts and Eastern magic are commonplace and intertwined with each other. The series follows young warriors Omi, Clay, Kimiko, and Raimundo, whom all train to battle the forces of evil. They do this by gathering and protecting the Shin Gong Wu from villains that would use him to conquer the world. The Shin Gong Wu are powerful mystical artifacts created by the legendary Shaolin Dragon, Grandmaster Dashi nearly over 1,000 years prior to our hero's story. Grandmaster Dashi used these artifacts in the ancient puzzle box in an epic battle in the end using the puzzle box to seal the evil sorceress Wuya. He then scattered the Shin Gong Wu across the planet to maintain the balance of good and evil. The four youth all train under Master Fu, learning the ways of the Shaolin and mastering their individual elements. Today we'll be introducing the general lore of the world and the main characters of the show. Starting with Omi, the Water Dragon. Omi is the central protagonist of the show, being the first to begin training under Master Fu. Omi, while skilled, is often very selfish and boastful, leading to him learning humility and many life lessons as the show goes on. Omi, born and raised in the very monastery that he trains in, has never set foot into the outside world. And as a running gag in the show, Omi constantly butchers slang and catchphrases over and over again. Omi being the longest resident of the monastery next to Master Fu shows a mastery for his ability that the other students only show in their own unique ways. Omi can create water sculptures and employ water in combat in many creative ways. Kimiko the Fire Dragon Kimiko Tohomiki is the daughter of one of Japan's largest video game creators. This leads her to being incredibly tech savvy. Kimiko, while sometimes impulsive and fiery, shows a creative side seen in her constant appearance change that I must admit had me waiting for the next one each and every single episode because come on man who's not sick of the running gag the cartoon characters wear the exact same clothing she is very kind and supporting and headstrong she shows this in all her constant support of her teammates in all their endeavors Kimiko's hot temper and creative side can be seen in her fire master where she shows elaborate fire attacks and applies it in not only her movement but also her general theme Raimundo Pedrosa, the Wind Dragon. A fan favorite, Raimundo may be stubborn and self-centered, but he will do anything to protect his friends. Hailing from the proud streets of Rio de Janeiro, Raimundo boasts considerable skill coupled with his pride. This makes Raimundo a center of likability for a lot of fans. His mastery of wind allows him to fly a propel blast of air from his palm that can leave quite the impression. <laughs> but last but not least, Clay Bailey, the Earth Dragon. Hard and steady, Clay was raised on a beef farm down south in good old Texas. Clay is always shown trying to make the best of any situation. Often the only speaking when necessary, Clay was looked down on by his fellow disciples because they viewed him as incompetent, which he quickly disproves by demonstrating his ability to find simple solutions amongst complex problems. Clay is very down to earth, pun intended, by his, inf his obvious affinity to earth as it suits him as his strength. It shows he's leagues above the other monks when it comes to just not using his brain and figuring out problems that you never would figure out. These four, accompanied by a talking shape-shifting dragon named Dojo, face off against the forces who seek to use the Shin Gong Wu for evil. This leads them to face off against the Hei Lin. While the Shaolin use a combination of elemental magic and martial arts, the Halen resort to dark magic, science, and martial arts, even resorting to things that are so unspeakable they cannot be named. The main goal of the Halen faction is to conquer the world. To those ends, many of the Halen sought the Shin Gong Wu, thus putting them in frequent conflict with the Shaolin. When two or more people touch a Shin Gong Wu, a Shaolin showdown is triggered. During this duel, the Shin Gong Wu the users entered with act as a wager for the encounter. Showdowns can range from direct combat to races to see who can claim the artifact first. Each artifact possesses various abilities and uses. Shin Gong Wu, such as the Mantis Flip Coin, allow the user to jump to incredible heights and become extremely mobile and agile. The 
Fist of Tebigong, which grants the wielder an incredibly powerful punch that can break walls. The objects can even be combined in the case of the Sword of Storms and the Eye of Dash, one allowing control of wind and the other allowing the user to wield powerful electricity. When combining, they allow the user to propel themselves at supersonic speed. There's even artifacts such as the Golden Tiger Claws, which allow the wielder to slice open space itself and teleport to their chosen destination. The main conflict in the show is between the forces of the Shaolin and Halen as they collide over the possession of these incredibly powerful artifacts known as the Shingon Wu. While unbeknownst to everyone the whole time, a great evil threat lurks in the background. And that evil is Wuya, the ancient sorceress returned from exile to seek her revenge. But come back on the next episode where we cover the Highland forces and villains. Be sure to like and subscribe and share this with everyone who loves the show. See you next time and come prepared for a Shaolin Showdown.